Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will discuss about standard form to general form and vice versa. General to standard form. First thing that you have to notice is the variable with the exponent 2. So in this one, we have y. Therefore, place all the terms with the variable y on the left side. So we have y squared plus 2y and then transpose the rest to the right side. Remember that in transposing terms, you have to change the sign. Now on the left side, we have to complete the square. So let us write this one first. And then we have to focus on our middle term to complete the square. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is positive 1. Remember that you also have to place it on the right side to maintain the equality symbol. We can now factor this out. This is y plus 1 quantity squared is equals to, let's bring down negative 12x. And then negative 25 plus 1 is negative 24. As you can see, there is still a common number in our right side. So we'll factor it out. So we have negative 12. So we will be left with x and then negative 24 divided negative 12 is positive 2. And this is our final answer. We are now in letter B. As you can see, the variable x here contained the exponent 2. That means to say all terms with variable x shall be placed on the left side while the rest on the right side. So we have here 2x squared minus 12x is equal to from negative y it will become positive y. And then from positive 16, it will become negative 16. Now on the left side, 2 and negative 12 has a common factor which is 2. So we will place it outside the parenthesis. 2 divided by 2 is 1x squared, so we don't have to write 1. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6x. And we will just write down whatever is on the right side. We can now complete the square. Allow me to just write this one first. Now we have to focus on our middle term. That's negative 6 divided by 2. It's negative 3 squared. That's positive 9. Remember, there is still a number outside here. So we will add up 2 times 9 on the right side. We can now factor this left side here. So that's 2 quantity x minus 3 squared again we get negative 3 from negative 6 divided by 2 and this is negative 16 plus positive 18 so that's positive 2 now dividing both sides by 2 we have here our final answer quantity x minus 3 squared is equals to y plus 2 all over 2 we can now proceed to standard to general form. We have here quantity y minus 3 squared. So that means to say we have to multiply y minus 3 to itself. And then we will just copy whatever is on the right side. That's 7 quantity x minus 8. Doing the FOIL method, we have y times y, that is y squared y minus negative 3 is negative 3y negative 3 times y that's negative 3y negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 i will distribute 7 here so that's 7x 7 times negative 8 is negative 56 looking at our left side we have here like terms so negative 3y and then negative 3y a total of negative 6y and then we will just copy the rest a general equation must have 0 on one side, so we just have to copy y squared negative 6y and then from positive it became negative 7x, copy 9, from negative it became positive 56 equals 0. 
we can still simplify the numbers here so we'll just have to copy y squared minus 6y minus 7x and then 9 plus 56 is 65 and then copy 0 and this is our final answer same thing in letter b we have to multiply x plus 2 to itself and then we'll just copy whatever is on the right side now doing the foil method we have x times x x squared x times 2 it's positive 2x 2 times x that's again positive 2x 2 times 2 is positive 4 and we'll have to distribute here negative 8 times y that's negative 8y the negative 8 times 5 it's negative 40 now we still have like terms on our left side so that's 2x plus 2x that is equal to 4x and we will just copy the rest remember in general form all terms must be on the left side we have here x squared bring down 4x and then from negative 8y it will become positive 8y bring down also 4 and then from negative 40 it will become positive 40 now we can still simplify the numbers here so we'll just copy x squared plus 4x plus 8y and then 4 plus 40 is 44 is equals to 0 and this is our final answer that is all for today thank you and see you in our next video lesson